I'm at zero trophies and we will go from zero to 5,000 trophies as Town Hall 16. So let's go. 59 trophies. Oh my goodness. My goal is to destroy every single base down here and go really fast to the first league. There we go. 59 trophies. And the most painful part is that I just always have to wait for my troops because I don't have money. So I can't buy gems. God damn it. Another 59 trophies. Let's take this one down. Let's do all the nine yetis in a line. And then place the log launcher with all the witches behind. Let's place the king, queen in, grand warden in, royal champion in. Let's rage here. Oh, the troops are destroying the middle. We got the town hall. Oh, look, we got 750 red envelopes. And that brings me to a question. Can we complete the pass by the time we are at 5,000 trophies? Currently, I'm at 7,212, so there's still a lot to go. The bases were all over the place. Sometimes I would find easy Town Hall 10s and other times max Town Hall 14s. But after a long time, we finally reached the Bronze League. There we go, we are in the Bronze League right now. But that took us already more than one hour. So imagine how long it will take me to get to the 5,000 trophies. Because this is only 400 trophies. It is taking forever. Did you know that it is 2024? <laughs> Look at his walls. That's a funny way to place the walls if you don't care about the walls. But let's take this one down. I got this guy with only heroes. That was funny. I changed my army to the Electro Dragons because of the easy base I found, which meant I could place a few Electro Dragons and still get some trophies. This is a pretty good method to go faster through the leagues. I'm at the Thousand Trojan. I'm really lucky because one gem army boost. That means I can boost my heroes, can boost my barracks, everything. That helps so much. Because you can see I have only 53 gems. But what I want to do is I want to earthquake some walls. Because I got a lot of loot. So let's see how many walls I can earthquake right now. No, no, no. We can only do three. Oh, the walls right now, they are just way too expensive. This is only... Level 60 and we still need to upgrade them to level 70. <laughs> but let's see how many walls we can upgrade by the time we are at 5,000 trophies. And what I like to do is snipe tunnels right now. Because sometimes you're in the clouds. You're like just clouding my army is not ready. Just finding some bases. Hopefully you can find a town on the corner. And you can see right now if we just pick the town on the corner. And then go out of there. We got some trophies. So that's a pretty good way. Once you're training your army to still... Get some attacks done and get some trophies. There we go. We got an another one. So just by sniping a, the town hall with the heroes. This is a really good method. At the thousand trophy mark. I wanted to teach you an easy free star strategy. But the bases were still too easy. Therefore I pushed all the way to the 2000 trophies. To teach you an easy free star strategy. There we go. We are in the crystal league right now. And we are almost 50% of the way to the legends league. Oh, this base is perfect. And what you can do is you can just simply do your yetis in a line. And then witches behind. So do the witches right now in. With the log launcher. Heroes in. Warden on ground. Royal champion. Or wait with the royal champion. Because you want to place your royal champion in the corner. So that's very important. Right now I can rage it already. Hopefully it is going to the town hall. Yes, one yeti is going. No, he's going to the mother lift. What on earth is happening right now? You're not going to say that I'm going to fail. His town hall is in the earthquake. Right now I want to help my queen. So I place the royal champion. But there is no value for the earthquakes right now. No. Oh look at the skeletons. <laughs> That's amazing. Get the town hall. I really want the town hall. Let's just place the royal or royal champion. Grand warden ability. There we go. I think this is an easy freestyle. You can just see how easy it is. Yet he's in a line. Which is in a line. He can get an easy strategy without a lot of skills. And now we can quit, go back, and we got 34 trophies. But let's show you a more difficult example. Yes, we are going to try this one. So let's do the yetis in the line right now. You can do it again and then do your witches. N no, huh? No, my army is not ready because I need to do it with gems and I don't have gems. Oh my god, can I even get the one star right now? Say not that I'm going to fail. I don't want to fail. Come on, earthquakes to open this up. I don't have a siege machine that can help me right now. No! Please, come on. What can I do to get the most percentages? I think pro champion from this side. I just want to get it. Come on. Focus really well right now. That's my 
job I need to do. Okay, we're still at 15%. I think it is the best time to race right now. Queen, freeze the Inferno Tower. Come on. Grand Warden ability. 28%. We should be able to get this. Come on. The Yetis are doing a great job on the outside. I'm not going for the two star. But maybe I can get it if the Royal Champion does a really good job. But my goal is just to not lose. I don't want to lose. Royal Champion. Freeze. Come on. Can, or can we get the free star? With only heroes and yetis. Come on. Oh, freeze, freeze. Oh, we need a lot of freezes for the Royal Champion. We still have only one freeze left. Come on. Freeze. Is it on time? Yes, it is. Can we get the tunnel? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We got the tunnel. Whoo. But how much trophies did we get from this attack? Let's go back. Oh, that's kind of sad. But we didn't lose. And now it is just time to wait again on 9 witches, 1 minion and 9 yetis. Oh, it's taking forever. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. So basically you want to do the yetis and witches in one line with the lock launcher and the heroes in. But you need to make sure that you have a good funnel. Like this example. And that freestar should put us in the Masters League. So if we go back, you can see we are in the Masters League. That means we are over 50% of the way to the Legends League. About the special event, I don't want to check it yet. I will wait until the Champions League to see how many red envelopes we have. But now let's flip across to the Electro Dragons. Oh, this could be the perfect Electro Dragon base, guys. What you want to do is you want always to look where the air sweepers are. Like you can just see they are targeted to the eagle and to the town. So that means I can better attack from these two air defenses. And also when you attack drop first your loons. Because there could be some air mines. That's, and then your e-dragons are immediately down. That's not what you want. But now I try it. So first thing I want to do is I want to kind of create a funnel for my e-dragons. I want my king to go to the right because my goal is to get the town hall with the king. And now I try to place my queen. Open up the walls. I think I did a good job. Oh no. My queen needs to get the town hall. That's the main goal right now. I think if I do even if I do the queen ability right now that should be worth it right. Okay and now I just attack with the loons first. Of course the loons first. Many people forget it but I do it because... Otherwise my e-dragons are maybe going down. I want to spread the e-dragons a little bit because of the eagle. The e-dragons need to go to the eagle. So do a rage here. Do another rage. The air sweeper is kind of painful. Warden ability. I should place the royal champion from this side to get the eagle down. Okay so let's rage this e-dragon because I want to get the scatter shot. Oh there we go. Look at the e-dragons going through the base. This is becoming a really close call because there are only few e-dragons left. The Royal Champion could be key in this attack. Let the E-Dragon go down because there's a single Inferno on it. Oh my god. Oh, no. I don't want to use... Oh! Look at the Royal Champion ability. I think I should be able to get this. But no, there's still one Expo left. We got 86%. Almost a 3 star. Unfortunately. No, did I see that right? That was more than 1 million and I just skipped it because I thought the base was way too strong. Now I try this one because this one still has one, almost 1 million but that one had more than 1 million. Yeah, so painful to miss more than 1 million loot. But after this attack we reach the Champions League. We are exactly in Champions League right now. So that means one thing. Let's go to the special event and see how much we got. Let's go to the Dragon Festival. Okay, there we go. Oh, look. Look at it. It is going from zero all the way to everything. I think we should be able to get the new hero equipment. So we are going to use it in the next attack. Alright, so we are going to test the new hero equipment. And we are doing a queen charge. Although I'm not really good at queen charges. But one thing you should do is you should do your healers behind the queen. But now let's open up the wall and look at the ability. Look, it's ki it kind of freezes a... Uh, a building and that's really nice look at the inferno tower the inferno tower just can't do damage right now but i gotta focus one tip what you always need to do is test for air mines with loons like dropping a balloon and then look for any air mines because otherwise the healers might go down so that's a trick you need to know when doing some queen charges i do a race right now 
I don't know if I can do the hand shutter. No, that will not be on time. Come on, look at the <coughs> new ability. This is really nice. I just destroyed the hero so easy. Oh my god. I should be able to do a wall breaker right now. No, the wall breaker is going to the wrong side of the base. Wall breaker, what are you doing? Go to the queen. No. Ah, that's kind of sad. I don't have a jump spell. But we gotta focus right now on creating the funnel. The only thing is that I can't get the town off. But we gotta do the hawks because otherwise we might time fill here. Oh, there's a lot going on right now. I can't see everything. I'm not really good at queen charges. But let's do the royal champion in. And hopefully everything will be fine. No, everything is splitting. What am I doing? It's freeze. No, invisible. Oh my word, everything is going outside. Potion in. Oh, I'm too late. Oh, reward ability. Can we get the town hall? I really want to get the town hall. And maybe we can still get the free star. Come on. We still have some head headhunters, but we can't do anything with that. Because there are no heroes left. That was a horrible attack. By the way, I still need to wait on my army. But one trick I always try to do is just snipe some town halls with the heroes, you know. Sometimes your heroes are still alive. Just do the heroes in the gap. One an ability. And get the town hall, go out of there. And we got some trophies. Finally, we are in Titus League right now. But one thing that's very painful is that the gem boost, the one gem boost is over. So that means I need to do it with my own training poses right now. So painful, but only 900 trophies to go. In terms of the walls, I did few walls because they are so expensive. But let's attack right now. Right now we do a super bowler attack. So one thing I want to do is I want to do the flame flinger on this side. And I want to funnel with my Grand Warden. He is on ground, so that's really nice. Let's do the healers behind the Grand Warden. Because we want to create the funnel so that the bowlers can go inside the base and smash the core. Alright, so the Flame Flinger needs to get the multi. I already need to funnel a little bit here, so I do some Falks in. I want to get the Eagle. That's my main goal right now with the Grand Warden. I should be able to get it. Yes, finally he got it. But this troop is really nice, the new troop. This is just, the, this is just better than the wall breaks because they just go through the walls. And they are even so strong, so that's why I really like the new troop. Because they can just go through the walls and you don't even need a wall breaker to be honest. But let's see because his walls are kind of low. Let's rage it right now. Come on. Okay, so I want to do the world champion from this side. Let's do the water ability right now. I think I need a jump spell right here. Come on. Loon's going out of the CC. That's kind of painful for me. I want to place in another rage. Okay, we get the first scatter, so that's nice. Open up the walls there. Roaring Champion ability, and you can see right now we got the free start with Super Bowlers. Although this base was really rushed, but we got a nice 31 after. Oh my god, look at its walls. That looks kind of nice though, with uh, level 5 walls. Of Town Hall 5. But now let's attack with the Flame Flinger. This looks so nice to be honest. I need level 5 walls at Town Hall 15. Oh my fucking god. What just happened? You can see it. I just didn't even get the freeze. At this point I was exhausted. And therefore I made a lot of mistakes. But this journey really showed me that if you have a goal. No matter what. And you give it everything. You can achieve a lot of goals. But after many attacks, I came to the point where I was about to finally hit the Legends League. Finally, we are one attack away, so let's do the last attack. Alright, we found a base in Town Hall 16. So let's do the Flame Flinger right here, with the Grand Warden on the other side, because our goal is to get to the town, to the town hall, excuse me, and create the best funnel I possibly can make. So now we try to do the healers behind the Grand Warden. So that's great. The invisibility spell tower went off. But my goal with the scatter shot is, or with the flame flinger, is of course to get the scatter shot. <laughs> but let's look at the other side. We have the Grand Warden, King, Ice Golem in, Root Riders in, Electro Trident. Let's place the Fox, Bowlers in. Okay, now let's rage it. Well, they should be able to go inside, right? Yes, they go inside. Oh, look at the root riders. They are so good. If not the best troop in the game right now. Okay, so now I want to do the Royal Champion on this side. 
Oh, I did grant one ability. We should be able to get the tunnel, right? I just do the jump spell for sure. Is the tunnel low health? Yes. Oh, the tunnel went down. That's really nice. Cool ability. It's just on time. Uh, another ability. Can we get this town on 16? And that should put us in the Legends League. There's only one elixir pot left. So we are able to get this one. A really nice attack at the end. But if we go back. We are Legends League as a town on 16. From 0 trophies all the way to 5,000 trophies. I'm very tired right now. But we got it. And if you want to see how I painfully dropped from 5,000 all the way to the zero trophies, you can click on this video right now.